My name is Donald Godfrey and I work with University Ministry with Faculty and Staff Spirituality. Just wanted to say a little bit about Ignatian Spirituality. With the election of Pope Francis, who's the first Jesuit ever as a Pope, Ignatian Spirituality has got a lot of interest these days, not only at a Jesuit institution like the University of San Francisco, but even beyond that, my friends keep asking me about uh, Francis and what it means to be a Jesuit, and that's exciting. Here at the University of San Francisco, I'm excited that Ignatian spirituality is at the core and the heart of our mission. There's a lot that can be said about Ignatian spirituality, but just in this one minute, let me say I think it's very much about finding God, the sacred, wherever the profound is in your life, in the midst of everyday life. Finding God in all things, but it, it can also mean finding the sacred in all things. So Ignatian spirituality meets us exactly where we are, and it also respects who we are and where we are. As a Jesuit institution, we're connected to St. Ignatius of Loyola, who founded the Jesuits, and also his spirituality, at the heart of the spirituality of St. Ignatius, but what he called the spiritual exercises, which came out of his own life experience. The heart of the spiritual exercises, which are available for people of all faiths and none, is the search for freedom, beauty, truth, and God, or whatever you define as sacred in your life if you don't believe in God. And here at the University of San Francisco, they're not only at the heart of the mission of our university, but many of our faculty and staff have found they help them find inner freedom, inner peace and meaning, and also a way to discern, not only big decisions, but a way of being in the world. The spiritual exercises have a relevance, not only here at the University of San Francisco, but in many ways throughout our world, as difficult as a time it is in the world's history.